So you're gonna finally run your D&D game. You've done calculus and need nothing short of a time machine to figure out a day and time to get your friends together. You've browsed YouTube, Reddit, and TikTok for inspiration knowing full well you're just gonna steal everyone's ideas anyways and hope to God your friends haven't seen or heard any of them. Everyone's made their characters and there's the one character you know super well, the one character who barely has a backstory, and the one character whose backstory you forgot to read because it was like 20 pages and it should come up in the first game, right? R right? You've gathered everything together, and now, now, you realize... Where am I even gonna start this game? It doesn't say! So a lot of DMs, myself included, like to start their games in an easy, neutral environment for the players where they can explain their characters, get to know each other, and then I can thrust them right into the problem, hook, campaign, adventure, whatever you want to call it. In fact, our video sponsor is Eldermancy with their new book on Kickstarter, The Seeker's Guide to Twisted Taverns, which has a bunch of taverns you can start your games with or have whole adventures in, complete with characters, monsters, new mechanics, magical items, and golly gee, look at that art. There's also lots of cool stuff like dice, maps, pins, a pint. It comes in pints? Oh. I'm getting one. Go back the Seeker's Guide to Twisted Taverns today using my link below, and if you aren't sold on it, well gosh dang darn it, it was written by Logan and produced by the dudes who made Grim Hollow, so you know it's gonna be good! So yeah, if you're wanting to start your games right, start your game in a tavern. But, sometimes, my players will sit there, and they just, they just don't do anything. Everyone in your party is an anxious, introverted nerd, like most of us are, then maybe tossing them into some action will be a good way to start your game. But, but, what if my players are new and they barely know how to play the game? Rules are scary. Oh no, there's only two ways you can start your D&D games, either in an easy, neutral setting for everyone to get comfortable with the game, or right into the action so I pique everyone's interest. Well, what am I supposed to do? Both. You do both. I am sick and tired of seeing D&D &D games that start with You're all in a tavern. You all meet each other. Now just like, go hang out, I guess. Unless everyone in your party is like wanting to play romance my friends and do nothing else, your players aren't just gonna get up and start doing a quest. Now, I've talked about character motivation before, but this is different. The introduction to your games is almost as important as giving the players motivation. I say almost because you can always retcon stuff in the future. But most dungeon masters are starting their games in taverns because like I said, easy, neutral, all that, but it allows some time to kind of dip your toes into role playing and slowly submerge yourself into the game as a whole. How you guys going? Describing your character and their actions is important, but it's your job as a DM, especially with newer players, to fully set the scene. Paint the picture, give some guidance to the players, and the only thing you leave out is, what do you do? So for example, don't do this. You all find yourself in a tavern, and uh, you, uh, you can now, now begin the role-playing and the explaining of your characters. Now, right now, uh, do it. I'll just sit here and watch. Instead, do this. Hadvar, as you sit inside the tavern, the door opens, and you see another human walk in, armored, with an axe down at his side. He looks around the room, and his eyes wander towards your table. He walks over, pulls up a chair, and sits across from you. Rayloff, you are now seated in front of the man that you were looking for. He's a lot bigger than you had anticipated, armored with a sword down at his side. It's about noon. The tavern isn't completely full, but there are a few people making their way about. There's a few gnomes sitting at a nearby table gambling away some gold, but mostly staying out of everybody's business. You guys can now describe your characters if you'd like. Okay, that's good enough. First things first, know the characters. If you don't know who's about to be in your game, then it's gonna be a rough time for you and your players. Who are you? I am literally playing Shrek! Learn who each character is before the game so you are prepared to fill in the blanks or guide them in the right direction. I also think you should totally build your adventures around your players and what they want and what they want to accomplish, but that's a different video. Secondly, I like to do this other thing. You don't have to do this. My players like it. Your players might not. It's up to you, but I think it's worth saying. Guide your players by describing just a little bit of their characters. You as the DM are the arbiter. You have begun the RP. Everyone wants to dip their toes into the RP pool and you need to guide them, not push them in and expect them to be comfortable. What I do is I kind of lead the character descriptions by starting it, saying, And you see another human walk in, armored, with an axe down at his side. This sets the precedent and kind of leads the player 
often to describing their own character. And it also shows that I know the player and their character. It's a two-way street of respect. And for the love of Bahamut, do not make a character's introduction a joke unless the player explicitly said so, or they're already acting in sort of a joking manner and have a kind of joking, jovial character. Nobody wants to make their D&D character, and then as soon as they're ready to be vulnerable and play the game and roleplay, the DM puts them on blast and makes them look stupid. Thirdly, is that a word? Describe the scene. Tell the players where they are and what's happening around them. Don't toss them into a void. So, I mean... Give objects, props, characters, locations, time of day, everything to paint a picture so they can probably answer this question. You guys can now describe your characters if you'd like. What do you do? And that's a kick-ass way to start a D&D &D game, but we're not done yet! Right after the introductions and after the players have had some time to be comfortable, throw in the action. A troll attacks, someone gets stabbed, a spell goes off in the tavern, a meteor streaks across the sky and lands near the city. The guards come in and tell everyone to evacuate. Stop! You violated the law. Anything works. Just push your players to do something. You cannot expect them to just start doing quests. Hello. What is going on in town today? Have you heard of the High Elves? You have to instigate them to make decisions because they could just leave and that's the game now, but it's the game now because that's the decision that they made and you could work off of that. And DMing is just building a path before the players as they choose it. It's a lot of thinking on your feet. So get out of here with your boring openings to your game. It has nothing to do with taverns. Taverns are perfectly fine. Just be respectful, set the scene, do a little hand-holding, and kick it off with some action! Okay, that's, um, that's the end of the video.